This is a web tutorial showing how to search the Celex lexical database online. You can search for Celex on Google or some other search engine and the one of the first hits is Web Celex and if you go to that you have three choices you have uh, create a lexicon and you have some help pages and a toolbox the first item the, the what we want here is create lexicon we're gonna search the Celex database and find the results that we want um, within this uh, you can choose the language and within the language you can have the part of the corpus that has the lemma information or in other words head words uh, syllable information or word forms but really you'll have access to basically all of this information so we'll just choose word forms uh, so if we want to search for um, a certain list of words and we want uh, to find both the plural and the singular if they are, are nouns then we can we can look for within the lemmas we will search for lemma head and I'll click that and you'll see that it has created uh, a column over here and then now as I click other things they will also be added so we want to search for uh, certain head words so for example dog but we want it to come up with dogs and dog um, but we want it to not uh, have dog as a verb so uh, to dog someone uh, or feeling dogged uh, as adjectives so we will also select the lemma lemma class so now it's added a second column and this will let us select just the nouns and we want to select we want to know whether they are plural or not so we'll select it this we could also select singular but if we're already selecting for nouns it'll be redundant information um, we also want the word forms so for orthography I'll select word and now we have a fourth column and we also want to know the frequency of it so I will go over to the frequency and select the Cobb co-build million meaning the frequency out of one million words and this is combined spoken and written and now that's our fifth column and um, if we wanted to we could also add in the lemma co million so for the all of the forms of the same lemma uh, that's this information here um, and just to make sure when that we're getting the just uh, one single lemma we're going to select this ID num lemma so that we can make sure that they're separate uh, lemmas that were uh, that they're the same lemma with different forms that we're looking at so now we can click OK and this allows us to narrow what we're looking for um, so first um, if you first time you visit this website it may not have these variables this is from previous searches that I've done but it doesn't matter um, what we want to do is we want to search for certain uh, we want to search for just items of a class noun so I can uh, click in the query and then click lemma class or you can type it and then we want it to equal noun or equal capital N um, but if you do two equal signs that's uh, as it shows up here that is actually for numbers but for strings it's EQ 
and then uh, single quotes, and then it's capital N to search for a noun. Um, and then the other thing is, is we don't want all the words in the corpus, we just want ones from a certain list. So we can go down and create a text uh, document um, and we can type in or paste in um, individual words that we want it to match. And it needs to be what would be considered the head word and so usually the singular form. So for example, dog, enter, um, man, um, and maybe hair, uh, car, um, ox, and school. And then we can save this, and I'll just save this on the desktop, and it'll be, um, I'll call it matchlist.txt. So this has created this file. And now, it, going back to the web page, I can uh, choose that file, choose match list from the desktop, and then I can tell it which column I want it to match against. So we want it to find the lemma head column, so finding head words that share that, but it'll match for, we've already uh, told it to match for just the nouns and we'll be able to know the plural and the singular forms based on whether the plural is yes or no, y or n. So uh, that is all we need to do in order to start the search. So then we click OK and this tells us how, uh, asks us how we want the output. Now you can uh, you can specify things here if you want but by default it will have uh, an output where uh, the different fields are delimited with uh, backslashes and we'll just go with that for now. So click OK. And then now it will begin searching. This line here is uh, represents the header and it's separated by the backslashes. So first we'll see le lemma heads and lemma classes and then the plurals, uh, whether it's plural or not, Y or N and then the word, meaning the individual orthographic form, the um, frequency of in the co-build per million, and the frequency of the lemma uh, in the co-build uh, corpus per million, and then an ID number at the end. So as we can see, it's not giving the whole corpus, it's searching through what was in our match list file. And so then we can um, and so we're seeing that it found uh, it has found a, the words that we've been looking for so far um, and I believe there's maybe one more we're looking for school but anyway you see here there's car there's two rows they are different um, uh, words here but they uh, car and cars but it's the same lemma with the same lemma ID and then we can see that the uh, the frequency is uh, per million of car is 276 and uh, 78 for cars in per million uh, but the lemma uh, frequency should be the same because they're the same lemma so that should be the same for all of them so here um, I think it's still searching but just to check um, that was the last item we had, so um, when it's found everything you want, you could uh, tell it to stop uh, or or not, but then just uh, select uh, the data and then you can uh, copy it over into um, into a text file or uh, and that, or open it up into a spreadsheet. So this is how you can. Uh, search for information using Celex online. It may come up with an unexpected error at the end, but that's just because it doesn't, um, for some reason, it's having trouble closing the file. But it means that it's reached the end if there's this error like this. Um, now, if you need uh, more information um, in the original search that we did, you can. Uh, there's a, a README that where you can learn more about the, some of the different fields. Um, 
that are in the database. Um, great, so that's all for now. And I hope this helps you find uh, frequency information in the Cellex Online database.